Hey guys, James over at Tulsa Sod and Mulch. Uh, by popular demand, I've had so many requests about overseeding existing yards. Uh, so I'm at a project now. It's actually one of our customers that we sell seed to. He's doing the project, but I'm going to walk through and show you um, kind of the steps of how we're going to how we're going to seed this job. So uh, let me turn this camera around and I'll kind of show you this yard and I'll uh, talk to you about what we're doing in the process. All right, guys. So uh, number one, always we do is we get soil samples always in these fescue jobs. Um, we go to our local OSU extension office. We'll take um, multiple samples, like this area right here, take two or three samples, put it in a Ziploc bag, come over here to this area, put you know Ziploc bag, three or four samples, label it. That way you know what we need to do on each area of these yards. As you can notice, this job, this grass looks yellow, doesn't look that good. The reason why is we come in and scalp these jobs uh, before we start the process. Um, we got the irrigation flags marked. That's real important. If we run these aerators through here, the last thing we want to do is go fix a bunch of heads and irrigation repairs. But like I say, you can you scalp this down to about, oh, probably three quarters of an inch to an inch, depending on how level your ground is. Um, then afterwards, we come in with the blower, we blow off all these clippings. So next process uh, we do is aerate. I'll come up here and there's a guy with the aerator up here. What we like to do, what we like to do is uh, aerate in two directions. First thing we do, we'll aerate north and south. Uh, I'll show you this aerator here in a minute. The guy's going along here pretty good. Uh, it's a core aerator, which works just fine. It's a preference deal, really. Some guys don't like the core up on top of the yard. Some guys just want the holes. Um, but uh, either way, it's really kind of a preference. It's kind of top dresses it with the core. Um, but anyway, what we do is on this fescue job here, uh, whatever your seed rate you're wanting to recommend or you want to put down your yard, divide that by two. So let's just use, for example, here, I do stuff by the acres since I grow it on a farm. You I know, mean, if we want 400 pounds per the acre, we're gonna put plug holes north and south. Then we're gonna put down 200 pounds. Then we're gonna aerate east and west and put down the next 200 pounds. And the theory of that is, you open up some holes the first go around, you put down half your rate. Some of it falls in the holes, some of it does not. And then when you come by going east and west, you push some of that seed that didn't go in the first holes in the ground, and then when you put the next rate of seed down, you have double the holes for the next round of seed to fall down in the holes. And then lastly, we put the uh, fertilizer down because you got multiple holes open everywhere. And we base those uh, fertilizers off of uh, what OSU tells us or, or what the soil sample recommended. Nine times out of a 10, these houses need lime. Uh, what happens is all these oak trees and acorns and leaves, everything falls down, gets in the soil, breaks down, changes the pH. pH needs to be around six and a half to seven. Some guys say six. The best luck I've had is when I get this around six and a half. Um, so like I say, you either have to add sulfur to bring it one direction, you know, or uh, lime to take it the other direction. So depending on if your pH is high or low. So we will walk over here, I'll show you a video of how this aerator works. A lot of times you can rent these at Home Depot and Lowe's. They're not very expensive at all. They're expensive to buy, but they're not expensive to rent. So I'll show you how this is going down here. Take some pictures of this yard. We can show you in about two weeks what it'll look like. Look way better. They're gonna lay some sod over here too. Looks like they had some trees removed. Gonna take some sod out and just lay a fescue in there. Okay, now lastly, we get all this seed planted. This guy has the irrigation system, so we'll turn this irrigation on for like 10 times throughout the day. Uh, so important, man, to keep this seed moist and not flooded. Uh, everybody wants to run the water, you know, 30, 40, 50 minutes or something. It's not the way to put seed down or water your seed. Uh, what we recommend doing, 
probably water three or four minutes at a time, maybe wait an hour, water three or four minutes, wait an hour, water maybe five, six minutes, and just keep the soil moist and keep that seed moist. As long as that seed's moist, it won't dry out and it'll root, root really well. If you go in there and flood the seed, it'll just get root rot. You know, it's such a tiny little seed, the fescue seed is, it'll just mildew out and, and root rot. So um, I tell guys when they get about two inches of growth, I'd say probably 50% of this yard when it's coming up good and heavy. Fertilize again. A lot of times that's about two weeks. So I did it again. Uh, something I really like to use is a product called Mill Organite. Um, it's kind of hard to find. You know, most of your co-ops will have it and stuff. It's uh, not the best smelling, smelling <laughs> material. It's a human waste byproduct. But I'm telling you guys, you start using that Mill Organite, that's all you ever use. It's not an instant growth. Um, like a fertilizer, synthetic fertilizer, where you just get that rapid growth right away. It's a slower release, but you'll have the darkest, deepest green yard, plants, trees. You can put it on anything. Guys put it on vegetables, guys put it on flowers. And uh, normally we put down like 40 pounds per thousand square feet. So it uses quite a bit more. A lot of times guys will spread it out and think, oh man, this is way too much. The good news about that stuff, it will not burn. It's organic. It will not burn the yard up. So, so probably two, three weeks uh, when you get some good growth, put down some uh, good meal organite. So um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can always reach us at uh, Tulsa Sod Malt Sod Store. Reach us on the web, tulsasod.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. And uh, I'll do some follow-ups in a couple weeks, show you guys how this seed grew in. Appreciate it, guys.